Ladies and gentlemen, so I know I've been posting a lot of critical content lately, whether it's on Twitter, the memes, or my YouTube videos, it seems as if I'm mostly being negative towards Halo Infinite. And while I do believe some, not all, my criticisms are justified, I just don't want to be that guy. You know, the pessimist that just sees the worst of things under a dark cloud. That's not who I am, and that's not who I want to be. Hey man, it's Halo, let's have some fun. So today I'm gonna be more optimistic, kind of return to the old school Zola and talk about weapons, something I found really shocking in Halo infinite and that is none other than the electric grenade get it it's shocking because it's electric yeah huh? anybody you suck all right, all right that, that was a fail a horrible joke but this electric grenade is definitely no joke or so it seems now this gameplay was not part of the eight minute reveal demo this is from another brief trailer for halo infinite and in that quick video we pretty much see highlights of mechanics in the reveal demo and some newer gameplay a glimpse of the energy sword a br55 which by the way looks awesome i am definitely a huge fan of this design and this grenade that has a function using electricity and this is going to be our focus for today now we're pretty much going to be replaying this one clip and slowing it down to analyze it so if that interests you stick around because on the surface this may just look like another grenade that just releases lightning bolts but taking closer looks we can see a lot more is going on but before we dive in i'm gonna say that i can't confirm whether this is a grenade or equipment since we know equipment is back but for the sake of simplicity i'm just gonna refer to this as the electric grenade now when thrown this thing already looks electrified but it doesn't activate until 0.65 seconds after it bounces off the ground in which case it literally starts releasing lightning around it however if you pay closer attention it's not random the electricity seems to be directed to enemies in close proximity to the grenade so the grunt to your right gets electrified the grunt in front of you and also the brute next to him but not only that you can see that after the brute gets hit the electricity chains to the elite on the left and in the larger picture it seems like all four of these enemies are being electrically chained together they are being immobilized and shocked all at the same time it's such a small clip but this thing looks extremely extremely powerful, not only because of the effects we just saw, but also when you consider the area of effect. Just look how huge this effect radius is. From the elite on the left to the electric grenade, that's literally around 15 or 20 meters, or something like that. So within this distance, you literally disable enemies. Just look at them. They literally can't do anything, not even shoot at you. That is shocking, and no pun intended. Now this thing does remind me a little bit of the energy drain from Halo 3, so I'm actually curious to see whether it has any EMP effects on vehicles as well. But since since we didn't see any vehicles here, we'll have to wait until we get more info. But unlike the energy drain, this thing is not round. It actually has the form of an advanced stick grenade, kind of like the brute spike variant. And it also looks like it has some points or prongs too, which leads me to think, can we stick this on walls or on vehicles as well? Maybe it'll have like a proximity activation if it's stuck in the wall. That kind of seems interesting. Right now I can only speculate, but with the area of effect and immobilization capability, this thing can shut things down. Like I'm a be honest with you guys this looks really cool and i wish 343 showed more awesome stuff like this in the reveal it would have made it much better well at least for me yeah boy look at me i'm losing over a grenade that releases electricity nah i'm just kidding but it is a nice grenade anyway hopefully they give us more revealing gameplay soon in the meantime positive vibes from a zoli but simultaneously i will try to offer fair criticism all right so that's gonna be it for this one so as always i want to thank you all for watching and until next time